destruction. The planet came in is struck by a meteor in the deepest parts of the galaxy. But what's this? The incredibly useful exploits of duct tape enthusiast Limbo Duxon are able to hold the planet together, preventing annihilation. The success of his duct tape mixture ushers in a new era for the people of Tapian, one that revolutionizes architecture, agriculture, and even arts and crafts. Now, reveling in the amazement of this incredible super material, Tapian wishes to spread its duct tape culture with the rest of the galaxy. Greetings, Earth children, and welcome to Planet Tapian. I'm your host, Limbo Duckton. You know, it's summertime here on Tapian, which means that the surface temperature will raise to approximately 900 Kelvin. Luckily for us Tapians, our bodies are quite robust and have no problem operating at such a temperature. And while I'm sure that all sounds very frightening to you, I've always wanted humans to have the opportunity to visit the planet. So I've been working on a few prototypes for specialized footwear that would allow for that very thing to happen. Now the current versions have left my test subjects a tad singed, but I've developed a base version that I'm sure you all, with proper practice, will be able to produce at home. After all, they are modeled after the popular Earthling shoe, flip-flops. First, you'll want to find a piece of cardboard large enough for your own feet. Naturally, mine aren't this small, but as an example, this is what it might look like. Once you have your cardboard piece, you can grab your favorite color of duct tape and begin covering the outside. It doesn't matter so much that the tape hangs over the edge, because as you'll see, it's quite easy to fold it inward. Now all you need to do is fold in on every piece of duct tape you've placed on it and you should be able to create a rather comfortable flip-flop surface. For the next step, you'll want to place your foot onto the now duct tape covered cardboard and very carefully mark between your big toe and the one to the right. Very carefully, use a cutting utensil to cut in. Once you've made a sizable cut, you can begin with the next step, which is cutting out a rather long 20 inch strip of duct tape. Once you get it all folded up, you can begin to put that 20 inch strip inward and thread it out to the other side, like so. Once you have that part completed, make sure you secure the other side using a strip of duct tape. Then place your foot inside of the flip-flop and wrap it around how best you might feel comfortable in that your foot's not going to slide out. Now, after securing these straps to the bottom of the shoe, you should be ready to produce your final flip-flops. Quite remarkable. Although I can't see yours and I, I, bet, I bet yours looks good. <laughs> you probably weren't able to make it in that time though. Just keep practicing and one day you'll be as fast as Flimbo Ducton. Just be careful not to get your feet stuck in them. Personally, I've been wearing mine for three weeks straight, but so far I've convinced my colleagues that it's just a new fashion statement. Honestly, one of these days, I'm gonna have to... What? My human test subjects are here. I mean, my new friends are here. Wonderful. Send them in at once. And uh, remember, stick to what you know, but never be afraid to try something new. This is Flimbo Duckton signing off. Tapu, tapu. <laughs>